This video right here is I am Lopez talking to South Park Mexican uh, after he got caught trying to steal her album without her knowing. Okay, and actually I think there was a conversation before this. This is the second time he called because the first one was pretty heated. Um, I'm not sure if we have that conversation, but we have the second one. This is when everything had already calmed down and he apologized. But he's still not uh, being held accountable for what he did because he didn't, he didn't allow her to talk on this, this, uh, this conversation. Every time she tried to say what she had to say, he would rush her and, uh, or just talk loud in the background so where she can't get out what she's trying to say. But uh, he knew he was wrong. He's been doing this stuff for over 25 years with different artists. But this time, uh, he got caught. He got, he got caught with his hand in the cookie jar, doing a, a deal behind her back with the other parties, which is Manic and Sambo. He should have never did this girl like that because she had the OG standing behind her, and we wouldn't let her get done like that. She came to me and she said, listen, these guys took my album down, and I, I don't know what to do. And I told her, upload the album because... Because only then will they sit you at the table on your own album. If you don't upload the album, they're going to stay playing with you. And if they didn't care about uh, sitting you at the table this round, what makes you think that they would sit you at the table after they do whatever they're doing? So yeah, she went and re-uploaded uh, her album to protect her, her assets. So that's when the greed kicked in. You know, he, yeah, SPM paid her $1,000 a feature before, and that's when the dealings were fair. But he felt like he had to have her whole history, which is her first album. So he tried to will and deal it with Manic. And according to this, he's saying that Manic was in the wrong for uh, doing this. Uh, he should have never try to sell the album, you know, without her permission. Especially if you only own 50%. That, that, that puts the producer uh, in the hot seat. So he's trying to play everybody, you know. And it is what it is. And I hope he comes, soon, comes out soon and, and speaks his piece. Because what was done here was done incorrectly. And, you know, y'all owed her that respect at least to sit her at the table on her own album. I've never heard of this kind of shit ever in history. How do you not sit down an artist that has released already a project and you try to snake your way around and sell it behind her back, dude? That's real shitty. To do that to a mother of four. It's crazy, man. So now you know why she had to stand up. She was just trying to protect her assets. But that's enough, man. Let's get into it here. And I want y'all to drop a comment and let me know what y'all think. Because there's a video, the new Truth video, that's post posted by the Dope House Records uh, South Park Mexican page. And he tries to say that he didn't know anything. You know? And, and he swayed the whole truth. And he made it this big lie. And y'all are attacking Lopez over it because y'all believe him over her. And y'all are wrong. Y'all are wrong for doing that. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Start the conversation now. Hello. Hello. Okay. So, I made a mistake of believing the students. Um, believing that, that he owned this, um, this album or if Manic was telling I mean I doubt Manic told him this I, I, I don't think either one of them believed that they really owned this album they were just trying to get this lit you know what I mean Yeah. and uh, yeah. so let me just explain so I made that mistake I told them to take this album down. And they listened. And I have the right to do that. Right. Thinking that and you I did not. The right. Thinking that I was going to buy this album. 
this album belongs to me. At all. So that I, so I, I, I gave them, but I didn't have the right to tell them to do that. But I told them to do that. So they took it down, and then you put it up. Correct. And then of course that caused that caused a war. Like, is it really a war though, or is it just a misunderstanding? Is it really a war, or is it just no, a misunderstanding? It's, it's because, on. like, like I said, it, it's on. This man, this man ain't trying to, trying to hear nothing, and that's cool. He thinks that because I, he knows what he was doing. He was Jim, trying to get a slick Jim, one. Jim, <clears throat> he, he thinks that I tricked him to take down the album so that you could put it up and then give them no one. There you go. There you guys have it. He apologized. He apologized to Sam Lopez and he tried to act like he didn't know still that they were doing him dirty. Supposedly, they were just trying to hit a lick on him, right? But there, there goes uh, Manic's story. I, I would love to hear what Manic and Sambo have to say about all this because these guys are out here preaching. These guys are going to the jails acting like they're doing good things for the people. And they're wrong. They're misleading these people uh, to make themselves look good to the to the public, you know. But all along, they're doing stuff like this behind people's back. They're doing wrong dealings. They're stealing. That's called theft. You know, if she owned fifty percent, Manic owned fifty percent. The album was already released. They understand their business deal. They didn't need nobody else to come out of nowhere to buy anything or to fund anything because that's what y'all are trying to say that Los had to come in and pay her debt no there was no debt it was a 50-50 split so you know that there you have it the man himself apologizing to I am Lopez you know my thing is this you guys want to attack this girl but she came when she came to the dope house or anywhere she came with pure energy. She didn't need the dope house. Before she was discovered, she was going hard. When I first seen her, I was like, whoa, who is this chick? You know, she came in like a storm. You know, people that watched her do shows, they felt her energy. They knew she's the truth, you know. We haven't seen anything like this in the industry in a very long time. So... For all y'all to clown her and talk shit and run her through the mud, it's okay. Because all that's going to do is build her up and make her more of a fucking beast. More of a beast than what she already is. She's killing everybody on that mic. I'd be scared for some of you guys to... Uh, I'm scared for you guys to come after this girl right here. This girl's going to fucking murder y'all, bro. She's the truth. She's the real queen of the South, dog. If not everywhere else in the country. When it comes to Mexican rap. Will she make it without Dope House? Hell yeah. She was already on her way. She just ended up at Dope House. And that was a short-lived thing. Maybe three weeks. So... And I think you guys need to separate three different facts. The fact that SPM paid her for features for a thousand bucks a pop. That was, those were actually transparent dealings. And those were okay. But when the greed kicked in, he felt like he had to have it all. And that led him to do a dealing behind her back with Sambo and Manic. And they all had to tell their story. But the thing is, they got to come out with the truth. You can't be out here preaching and, and acting like you're a man of God. And you're out here misleading people. You know? You're out here misleading people and you know it. So be truthful with these people. Handle these people with care. And don't lead them to go against her. She's in the free world. That man is locked up. He could care less about what any of you guys think. He's going to sleep good at night. But her, she's out here in the free world. We're all out here in the free world. 
you know, and we're going to see each other. We're going to see each other. So tell the, tell, tell the truth. Was it just a quick lick? You were trying to get eight, eight to ten thousand dollars, you know, to what, open up another studio or something? I mean, and that's, those are the ones that need a real job. Because if you had a fucking job, you'd have money, and you wouldn't have to do people dirty like this. You know, stuff like this wouldn't come to the light. You know, and I'm standing behind Lopez 100%. I'll take it through the country myself. I'm the one who built these relationships everywhere in every city and every state. So she's going to make it regardless. And we already got people standing up with us. We already got some majors standing up with us as well. And you best believe that Lopez is going to hit the top. And so is Losi. Y'all look out for both of them. And uh, try to envision other success. Don't be a hater all your life. If you know she's dope, just say she's dope. Share it. That man don't care about none of you guys. He's deceived all of us that this long. And oh, and we're coming forward with all the new stuff that's been floating around from his family alone. And the records, because I don't think some of these... Uh, these uh, uh, court papers, these court documents have been read to our people down here. They've been read in Cali. They brought some light in Cali, but it's not being received well down here because it's not one of our own bringing it up. But best believe that we're going to sit down and we're going to read these documents and we're going to find out that the person that we've been uh, backing the person that we believed was innocent was not so innocent at all. He threw all kind of misleading uh, statements out there for people to believe so we can back them. But today's a new day and we're going to go back and we're going we're gonna to do some digging and we're going to find out about who this monster really is that we followed and that we cared so much about that we put our life on the line for who is this monster and does he really care what happens to us did he really care what happened to Carolyn when they bullied her when they bullied a woman you know when the dope house did it when Capone did it when all them people came from both sides around her and just really shitted on her and you know did, did anybody think about her mental her mental abuse that she was going through did anybody think about what she had to go through on the road the guy that pulled a gun out on her on the road over all this y'all gotta stop man y'all gotta y'all gotta draw that line you know are you going to stand with the fake? Are you going to open your eyes and read these documents? Because these are not hearsay. These are these are public records. It's taken me a little bit to get these records, and that's why probably why somebody, well, some of y'all, all of y'all, have never read them, because you have to go to the courthouse to get them. And so uh, I'm going to have somebody this week take me down to the courthouse so we could grab those records so we could set the record straight on who you guys are following you can like his music if you want you know and at one point I was like this guy should be let free I believed he was a, a innocent man and I, I believed even even if he wasn't innocent I was thinking you know this guy's an old man he needs to come home to his family but the way he's been doing his family the way he's been doing his friends, the way he's been doing his workers, uh, he has no remorse. And he doesn't care. I really don't think he cares to even get uh, about getting out. He wants to stay in there because he's safe in there. Because the things he's doing to people out here, he'd get punched in the mouth for that. Understand that. 
y'all stop living blind and open your eyes a little bit and understand you're marching at the day of unity and performing and you guys are shitting on everybody you're shitting on that little girl that it happened to you're shitting on those eight little girls that it happened to because now we just read a little a few little things online and it says that it was eight girls that came forward so that's eight different girls that makes him a, a habitual sex offender and then the new one that just popped up that said she was getting picked up from school and dropped off now that's just crazy we're gonna lay it also uh, we're gonna lay it all on the line on the uh, Cam Capone news uh, I don't know when he's releasing it but hopefully soon hopefully before the day of unity but you guys just look forward for some of that truth and uh, be willing to accept the truth you know I feel like everybody's going through it um, mentally because they've been misled so long and they don't know how to um, how to heal from all of it you know he even the ones that stood in the uh, front line for this man I'm standing with y'all and I'm here for y'all and y'all could message me and y'all could talk to me about it because there is no uh, proper way to heal from all this to be misled and deceived all these years and the leaders to deceive the people even the ones that knew it's disgusting but I'm not going to get into all those leaders I feel like they should come forward on their own and say what they know and tell their story because everyone has a different story not everybody has the same story but I'm here to tell mine so subscribe to my channel because there will be a lot more new content coming your way and uh, I would love for you guys to join us as we read these papers the actual documents of his case We've been standing with a monster all along. And hopefully that's over. We're just peeling the layers of the onion and getting to that core. And best believe, they're not going to let him out of jail if he does not show any remorse for what he has done. To sit there and say you're not guilty for something that you did, that you were out here doing it left and right you're sick dude you're a sick old man period come out and apologize to the people and stop posting the young picture of you back then it was 20 years ago start showing people the monster you really are show them the one with the beard show them how you really look right now because that does make a difference some people say it doesn't make a difference. It does. You don't see me talking behind my picture of me 20 years ago. It wouldn't make sense. So if you're going to live in your truth, live in your truth. Be who you are. And if you really believe in God, then stop misleading these people and stop deceiving everyone is wrong and it's only going to catch up to you like it is now you made your bed and now lie in it I am Lopez the queen of the south she is the real queen of the south and her energy is unmatched and I put my money on the table against any of you motherfuckers even dudes cause y'all ain't got it like that she spits that shit you're gonna feel and if you only heard her online y'all better go get them tickets to see her in person we're coming to Abilene in the next couple weeks Abilene, Texas San Angelo, Texas 
McAllen, Texas, and San Antonio, Texas, all in the month of October. And I believe some of these events, most of them are free. So come check her out and take that energy in. And understand that Texas, we going up as a whole. We're about to murder the whole rap scene because we taking them out of the game one by one. I am Mo Hustle. This is the Hot Seat 713. Hit that subscribe button, share it one time, and tune in to the new news that's about to hit.